Repentance is first just getting honest with yourself, being genuine about where you're at. It's not a simple recipe of A, B, C, or D, but it's replacing whatever you're dealing with, with Jesus. I lied to myself for a very long time. Nobody wants to be a hypocrite. So what we do in the church is we either change what we believe or we change what we do. I was the worship pastor at one of the fastest growing churches in Alabama. I had a thriving ministry, a beautiful family, two little girls. And in 2012, my world would change forever as I know it. Because it was at that time that I had a secret. And that was that this worship pastor and this husband was having an affair. Not only was I having an affair, but I was having an affair with a stripper. I'd lost everything. My family was gone. My ministry was gone. I had nothing. During that time, a lot of people from church, they wanted to reach out to me. I got a lot of phone calls, a lot of text messages, but it seemed like everybody that wanted to meet with me wanted me to do certain things. They even would tell me, we want to be your friend. We want to love you. But in order to do that, we need you to do A, B, C, and D. That just didn't seem like the heartbeat of Jesus. We will love you, but. And so uh, I just began to even run further from the church, but eventually I hit rock bottom. And when I did, I had nowhere to turn but up. And for the first time in a very long time, I cried out to Jesus. I didn't fully understand God's grace. I always thought that, that because of my choices, and because of my sins and because of my mistakes, that uh, there were certain consequences to my sins that I just had to learn to deal with. And don't get me wrong, there are consequences to our sins and I live with them every day. But I thought things like God could never use me again as a worship leader. God could never use me again in a church. Um, I thought things like no girl who loved Jesus would wanna have anything to do with me once she had heard my story and I, I thought all of those things and it was three and a half years after not getting a single phone call to sing anywhere for three and a half years I got six phone calls in one week to sing in churches and to lead worship for certain events and I couldn't believe it it, it was as if God was saying I told you I'm not done with you now get back in there and so I did and one of those people that called me was a pastor in Baghdad, Kentucky. And he said, our worship leader is leaving and I want you to be our worship leader. And I laughed. I, I thought he was joking. I said, do you, do, you, do you know my whole story? And he told me the same thing. He said, I, I don't believe, I do not believe that God is done with you. And I want you to come and I want you to lead worship here. I said, well, how about this? How about if I come and I just fill in for a little while? Well, that's been almost three years. And every week, I'm still filling in every Sunday. And so it's just been amazing. Everything that I didn't think was possible, everything that I thought God wouldn't do, He's done. And uh, it's just the, the grace of Jesus has just been amazing.